Mi amico, benvenuta. My name is Priscilla. Okay, scratch that, scratch that. My Italian is not good either. I'm going to have to try again. One long angry line later. My people, my people, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time seeing my face, then salutations. My name is Priscilla, aka Prissy, aka CC, aka Ila, aka Silla, aka Miss Prissy, baby. And I make videos to help you smell good, look good, and feel good. So if that's something you're interested in, then please consider subscribing, like this video, and let's get right into the video of today. You don't know. Okay, guys, so I want to start off by saying a massive thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing in advance, because if you're not subscribed, I'm hoping that with this thank you, you're going to subscribe and become part of the channel. In today's video, I will be trying out some Italian perfumes for you. So it's basically my Nigerian girl series where a Nigerian girl tries out perfumes from different countries. And today is the turn of the Italians. Now, not until I started this series did I actually realize that, you know what? Oh, I've got perfumes from this country and this country and that country. Okay, Priscilla, before you stop, start all this rumbling, without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first Italian house I'll be talking about today is Versace. What? Versace. I think that's the correct pronunciation. Big me up in the comment section if I pronounce that right. Versace. <laughs> God, have mercy upon us. <laughs> I've got two perfumes from this house. I've got this one called Yellow Diamonds. You can see the dent on it. This fragrance is fantastic. It's chef's kiss, like ooh la la. It literally makes me feel sophisticated. Is ooh la la French or Italian? Oh my God, Priscilla. Guys, scratch that ooh la la. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. It's a lovely fragrance. It is beast mode this perfume is I also got versace crystal noir and loads of people talk about this one that's why i wanted to talk about yellow diamonds because i don't see loads of people talk about yellow diamonds but crystal noir is a beautiful fragrance it's got some coconut in it you know it's this you know cool fragrance i don't know it just makes me feel very cool and it's a very unique smelling fragrance as well um this was my perfume one of the perfumes i wore a lot during my undergrad days Whenever I smell this, it literally takes me back to university, like, well, my first degree days, because I used to wear this a whole lot. I don't know if I've got the toilet, but I, well, no, I've got the perfume. Some people prefer the toilet to the perfume. I prefer the perfume to the toilet. Oh my goodness, this perfume is so nice. Like, it's literally even gone into my mouth a bit. <sighs> Crystal Noir is beautiful. Right, the next Italian designer house I'll be highlighting is Dolce & Gabbana. Guys, do you know that I actually thought Dolce & Gabbana was a French perfume house until I started to do my research and Dolce & Gabbana is actually Italian. From this house, I've got loads of perfumes and it was a bit of a battle as to which one to bring to you guys today. I mean, the whole light blue line I have done review, uh, review on, so I'm not going to talk about the light blue line at all. Instead, I'll be talking about Lame Patrice from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. I absolutely love this fragrance. It is like this watermelon, floral, fruity fragrance. Perfect for summer, spring. I wore this a lot during summer, spring. It's got some kiwi in there. It's got some watermelon in there. It is sweet. It's easy to wear. This fragrance is very fresh. In fact, I think Dolce & Gabbana do really nice fresh fragrances because the whole light blue line is fresh as well. Another fragrance of Dolce & Gabbana I wanted to highlight was Dolce. And this is like a coconutty again fragrance that I would wear during the summer springtime. It is very creamy. It has got some floral notes in there. But this fragrance smells very much like, like a creamy dessert. Like a coconut ice cream. Yeah, very nice, very creamy, and perfect for the summer springtime. The next Italian house I wanted to highlight was Fendi, and in my hands I've got Fendi La, Co La, Co La Corusa. La Corusa? I think that's the pronunciation. I may get, I may have gotten it right or wrong. But again, this is another sophisticated fragrance. This one was a gift from my mom. This fragrance, it kind of smells similar to um, Yellow Diamonds from Dolce & Gabbana. 
it is very sophisticated smells very grown if you want something from the house of fendi then i absolutely recommend it and of course there's no way i'm going to do an italian perfume list and not talk about trusadi i mean this is donna from the house of trusadi this fragrance was introduced to me by um my friend here on youtube marcelina theresa i love this fragrance it's like a lemon fragrance i think it's got the amalfi lemon in it this fragrance has got some this fragrance is like a citrusy easy to wear light fragrance it's not the most beast mode performing fragrance sits a bit close to the skin but for the price i do not mind for the price i don't mind at all it's a really nice fragrance a nice cheapy i'll kind of say from the house of trusadi which is an italian perfume house next house is salvatore ferragamo and i've got amo this is a sweet cocktail fizzy sort of fragrance it's got the note of campari in it this fragrance smells very sweet it smells sweet it smells fizzy yeah it's a kind of a it's not boozy in like the rum way in like the rum brandy brown alcohol way but it smells like a champagne sort of and this is amo from the house of ferragamo i really like this fragrance again it's a nice affordable cheap fragrance if you're looking for something you know cheap i definitely recommend this fragrance the penultimate house i wanted to highlight is moschino and this is toy 2 bubble gum Moschino do a range of things so again it's a designer perfume house so they do perfumes and they do many other things as well this fragrance is a bubble gum fragrance a bit fun i wanted to say childish but i'll say a bit young and fun and free and you know not wild but a bit young and fun smells exactly like bubble gum has got some candied fruity notes in it has got bubble gum notes in it is very sweet i really do like it apart from the bottle I love the fragrance and finally the last italian house i'll be highlighting today is a niche house there's no way i'll do this video and not talk about this house and it is zerzhov guys zerzhov is one of my favorite perfume houses and today i want to talk about eba pura i mean this perf this perfume house has got eba pura that i love it's got italica that i love i used to love lira but i had to declutter lira because lira did not perform really well on my skin in my opinion that fragrance is a very soft fragrance it's a nice fragrance the scent is nice but the performance is weak in my opinion so i had to let it go but now when we talk about eba pura <laughs> eba pura is beast mode eba pura is going to stick on your skin like ai the great would say to stick on your skin like gorilla glue it ain't going nowhere it ain't moving you know uh, i really love this fragrance it's a fruity fragrance absolutely love it if i was to recommend any fragrance from the zerge of line to definitely be eba pura without a shadow of doubt those are all the perfumes from italian perfume and you know perfume designer houses that i wanted to highlight today if there are any other perfumes from italian houses that i should be trying out go ahead and comment them down in the comment section go ahead and also do all of that good stuff guys me amicos go ahead and do all of that good stuff like share and subscribe guys please like please share and subscribe and until i see you again in my next video because i look forward to seeing you again in my next video stay beautiful stay blessed hi and bye